tension in the flats. And one thing keeps coming back to me, the question when she, when Erica realized that hers may not have been the only report that the president read. And some of you are looking at me blank like, <laughs> you know? Because the whole story is based on, you know, the reporter's story is based on the fact that Erica wrote this report yeah. questioning whether Venezuela had anything to do with the, you know, the assassination attempt. And suddenly when she discovers, oh, you know, I don't know, is the CIA lying to her? We don't know, you know, when, the, when they meet at the cemetery. But that question, because I assumed that there was only one report. Now I'm questioning as well, were there other reports? So as a reporter, then I feel that, you know, we, you know, I always have, say that we should have higher standards <coughs> rather than the public have higher standards for ourselves because if we don't have higher standards, then I'm sorry, you know, then you see the crap that you see. Sorry about my French. <laughs> no, there's a lot of French up yes. there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that keeps coming back to me because verifying the information, you know, you go to a number of sources, uh, you need to be very sure, and especially a, a story like that. Uh, you know, I keep thinking if I had that story, would I name Erica? Mm -hmm. um, was that crucial to the story? Mm -hmm. You know, you could have said a CIA operative. Again, you know, you have to think of who her husband is. You know, maybe that's a reason to name her, but then again, would I have? I don't think I would have. Mm -hmm. Because you have to see the repercussions that take place. So, those are like the main thoughts that I have. Okay. okay. Um, for me, the main issue here is professional versus personal values. Okay. Professional values is that you run the story, right? Basically, you, it is a newsworthy story, it's going to win a Pulitzer, okay, and also competition. All these factors push towards publishing a story. But then again, as a journalist, you also have the personal values as well, because if you're going to publish it, what are the repercussions? <coughs> Did she foresee that someone might die? As a journalist, we have that power, you know, the media power, which a lot of journalists may not, especially if you're young, you may not realize that, right? So the con the consequences have to be thought through before we actually go on to publish a story. And this brought back my days of, as a reporter, you know, I, my editor used to tell me, um, never give your confidentiality agreement unless you're willing to go to jail for it. Yeah, that's what she told me. And um, whenever we are told as a reporters, do not agree to anything, until you check with the editor. Yeah, because the, the one thing good about this is that um, the newspapers backed her up. So in a sense, reporters also have to um, be sure that the newspaper backs them up because there's a lot of consequences. You may lose your job, you may lose the credibility. Um, I think that's my main point about principles versus practicality as well. You know, you have your principles, yes. But at the end of the day, we, I understand why she did it because ultimately, right, it's the child that's you know, at stake. If it were, I think if it were somebody else who was, you know, in a sense, screwing with her, a man, <laughs> yeah, perhaps, you know, um, she may not have, uh, you know, be so protective. But now I understand the end of it, the clincher was that it was a little girl. And I can understand why she did it. Shall we? Okay, as the youngest, <laughs> the youngest journalist. Okay, uh, when I watch the film, I, I feel very strongly about uh, the topic. I mean the issues that how do we as a journalist to how much do, uh, do we prepare to go for a school you know like do you know the law do you know uh, um, do you prepare your mind for the consequences bad scenario the worst scenario like what I, I don't really feel that uh, Rachel has prepared for all this uh, that happened so fast and she, not only her and also her family that is why uh, her family could, I mean her husband couldn't uh, forgive her for the decision she made. So if she ever discussed that, uh, this to her husband, uh, with her husband, I think maybe uh, she can have a, the strongest backup uh, as her family would really stood uh, behind her. So I think uh, the, the main issue is, uh, I feel very strongly is uh, how do we uh, have, are we prepared ourselves uh, enough or ready enough to go for a scoop? Do we 
uh, know the laws, do we prepare our mind for it? So that is the, the thing I, uh, I feel strongly after watching it. Hey, uh, 